Have you ever wondered how aquatic animals breathe air while living in water? Let's submerge ourselves into the world of aquatic air breathers, a realm filled with remarkable species that have tailored their lives to the ebb and flow of both terrestrial and aquatic environments. These creatures, while seemingly out of place, epitomize the marvel of evolution. Take turtles for instance who are renowned for their hard shells and gentle demeanor. Despite their aquatic existence they break the surface for a gulp of air, a testament to their terrestrial ancestry. Their lungs while adapted for air breathing can also extract oxygen from water in times of need, a feat achieved by specialized tissues in their throats and bottoms. Then we have the formidable crocodiles, the prehistoric predators that lurk beneath the water, their nostrils and eyes the only hint of danger. These reptiles, though at home in water, are air breathers, equipped with a four-chambered heart that efficiently separates oxygen-rich and oxygen-poor blood, enabling them to dive for up to an hour. Otters, the playful acrobats of the aquatic world, are another example of air-breathing water dwellers. Their dense fur and high metabolic rate allow them to generate enough heat to survive in chilly waters, while their lungs and nostrils, which can be closed at will, facilitate their underwater escapades. And let's not forget the amphibians, the quintessential dual residents. Frogs, newts and salamanders with their permeable skins and lungs balance their time between land and water, breathing air when terrestrial, and absorbing oxygen through their skin when submerged. Each of these species in their own unique way illustrates the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth. Their dual respiration strategies, forged over millions of years, are a testament to the power of evolution and the enduring struggle for survival. Now let's dive deeper into their survival strategies. The ability to breathe air in a water environment isn't a simple trick, it's a complex survival strategy. Surviving in two vastly different environments requires a suite of intricate adaptations. For instance, let's consider turtles. These remarkable reptiles have lungs for breathing air just like us. However, they can also absorb oxygen directly from the water through their skin and the lining of their throats and cloacas, a process known as cutaneous respiration. This dual respiration system allows turtles to stay submerged for extended periods, conserving their energy and staying safe from predators. Crocodiles, on the other hand, have a different approach. They've evolved a high tolerance for carbon dioxide allowing them to hold their breath for up to two hours. They regulate their breathing by adjusting their buoyancy, sinking down to remain motionless and unnoticed, then rising to the surface to take a quick gulp of air and submerge again. Otters, being mammals, breathe air exclusively. However, they've developed efficient ways to manage their oxygen supply underwater. They have a higher concentration of red blood cells, which store more oxygen, and their heart rate slows down during dives to conserve oxygen. Amphibians like frogs and salamanders, being the bridge between aquatic and terrestrial life, have some of the most intriguing adaptations. They breathe through their skin, their lining of the mouth, and lungs, depending upon the species and its life stage. Some can even recycle oxygen within their bodies, minimizing the need to surface for air. These survival strategies aren't just about breathing. They're about conserving energy, evading predators and hunting prey. Each species has honed these strategies over millions of years of evolution, adapting to the unique challenges of their habitats. And it's not just about survival. These adaptations offer these animals an edge in the game of life, allowing them to thrive in environments where others can't. They've turned what could have been a disadvantage, needing to breathe air in a water world, into a remarkable advantage. Now that we understand their survival strategies, who do you think can hold their breath the longest underwater? Welcome to the ultimate underwater breath-holding competition. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of aquatic animals that have mastered the art of holding their breath. These air-breathing creatures have honed their skills to outlast, outsmart, and outlive their underwater counterparts. Let's meet our contenders. First up, we have the playful river otter. These nimble creatures can hold their breath for an impressive eight minutes. Their secret lies in their ability to slow down their heart rate, conserving oxygen, and allowing them to delve into the river's depths. Next on the lineup is the formidable American alligator. This reptilian powerhouse can stay submerged for up to two hours when resting. When active, they manage a still respectable 20 to 30 minutes. Their secret? a specially adapted heart that can redirect oxygen to essential organs when underwater. The third contender in our competition is the ever-fascinating sea turtle. These ancient mariners can hold their breath for four to seven hours while resting. When they are active, they still manage a respectable one to three hours. 
thanks to their ability to absorb oxygen through their skin, they can stay submerged for extended periods. Our next competitor is the platypus, an oddball in the animal kingdom. This semi-aquatic mammal can hold its breath for an impressive 10 minutes. Its secret? The platypus shuts down non-essential bodily functions and reduces its heart rate to conserve oxygen. The final contender is the Weddell seal, an Antarctic native. This polar powerhouse can stay underwater for a whopping 90 minutes. This is possible due to their high concentration of myoglobin, a protein that stores oxygen in muscle tissue. As we navigate through this breath-holding competition, it's clear that each of these species has evolved unique adaptations to survive and thrive in their aquatic environments. Their ability to hold their breath is not just about winning a competition, but a testament to their resilience, adaptability, and the sheer wonder of evolutionary biology. Each contender from the playful otter to the formidable alligator, the ancient sea turtle, the oddball platypus, and the resilient Weddell seal, showcases the diversity and adaptability of life on our planet. Their breath-holding abilities are key to their survival, whether it's to evade predators, hunt for food, or simply explore their underwater world. But the competition isn't just about holding one's breath. It's a symbol of the larger battle these species face in the wild. Their habitats are under threat, and their survival depends on our actions. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The champion of the ultimate underwater breath-holding competition is, drumroll please, the Weddell Seal, with a record-breaking 90 minutes. This Antarctic native truly embodies the spirit of endurance and adaptability. But remember, every contender in this competition is a champion in their own right, each playing a vital role in the intricate web of life beneath the water's surface. And the champion of underwater endurance is the Weddell Seal. Congratulations to all our breath-holding champions. The crown goes to the aquatic animals that have truly mastered the art of underwater endurance. These champions of breath-holding are not just surviving, they are thriving, pushing the limits of what's possible in the natural world. At the forefront of this competition are the marine mammals. The Weddell Seal, a resident of the icy Antarctic waters, holds the record among mammals, capable of diving over 2,000 feet and staying submerged for more than an hour. Its secret? A high concentration of myoglobin, a protein that stores oxygen in muscle tissue, allowing it to dive deeper and stay longer than most. Not far behind, the sperm whale, the largest of the toothed whales, can dive over 7,000 feet and remain underwater for up to 90 minutes. This deep diving cetacean has evolved to collapse its lungs and reduce its metabolism during dives, conserving oxygen. But let's not forget our reptilian contenders. The freshwater crocodile with its slow metabolism and the ability to reduce its heart rate can stay under for over an hour. Similarly, the leatherback turtle can hold its breath for an impressive 70 minutes. These champions of the deep have evolved exceptional adaptations and record-breaking endurance. Their remarkable survival strategies are a testament to the wonders of nature. But these incredible creatures face an uncertain future. As we marvel at the adaptations and survival strategies of aquatic air breathers, it's essential to recognize the challenges they face. Pollution, climate change, habitat destruction, and overfishing are just a few of the threats that loom over these remarkable species and the habitats they rely on. These threats aren't just problems for our air-breathing aquatic friends, they're also problems for us. These species play crucial roles in maintaining the health of our aquatic ecosystems. Turtles, for example, help control jellyfish populations. Otters keep sea urchin populations in check, preserving kelp forests that sequester carbon and provide habitat for a diverse array of species. Every creature, every plant, every microscopic organism in these ecosystems is interconnected, forming a delicate balance that allows life to flourish both in and out of the water. To lose even one species can have far-reaching impacts, disrupting this balance and potentially leading to the collapse of entire ecosystems. Preserving these habitats isn't just about protecting individual species, it's about safeguarding the intricate web of life that sustains our planet, and that's something that affects us all. So, the question isn't whether we can afford to conserve these habitats and species but rather, can we afford not to? Join in the effort to protect these amazing species and their homes. Support marine conservation today for a healthier planet tomorrow.